Someone gave me a thumbs down on my video. Yo. <laughs> really quick okay and keep it simple last year see, and the reason I'm doing this is I got a thumbs down on my video this morning talking about or last night talking about the gang stalkers how they attempted to murder me and see this is my life I was born in America so I'm American I'm actually free and I know we're not really free I know it's an illusion but still we have to operate like we are you can't just well, you actually can. As thugs, you can actually do what you like. But there again, we can too. So, they tried to kill me last year. And I was going to let this go and drop everything. This morning I was driving, I was thinking, you know what, I'm done. I, I just want to get back to my own stuff again. You know, it's quiet. I like how it's been. It's been nice and quiet. And basically God told me to shut up unless my enemies were to bother me again or my family or my friends that would be the sign to release the info but it's been nice and quiet the info is off limits unless they come to hurt me in any kind of way that's a different story but gang stalking is not off off limits tackling the gang stalking fraud or not sorry the gang stalking and criminal activity the electricity company fraud, other 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 topics are open season. That's never been told by the Father in Heaven to quiet down on those topics. And because I got a thumbs down on my video last night, where I was explaining how they tried to kill me, the gang stalkers tried to kill me last year, well this year, 2017, eight months ago, you know. And I was going to come back and post a video that I'm done. I'm not going to make any more videos on this kind of stuff. It, it bores me. You know, I got my own things I want to do. You know, Christian films, there's so much out there. But the gang stalkers seem to be bent on keeping me in the game. And it's nice and quiet, and I appreciate that. I mean, I would hate to have to get killed and then let this information come out. I lose my life, though. But then the big enchilada gets released to the public, and they'll be eating that stuff up. It's so cheesy and gooey. But because somebody thumbed me down, now we're back in the game. So I'm going to take it day by day. If it stays quiet, I, I prefer to do my own things like my own short films and stuff and just get away from the politics stuff I've done my part I've done my duty I don't feel guilty walking away from it now I try to save the world I spent five years researching putting videos up and I know that the gang stalkers including YouTube who's in, who's in cahoots I know they're limiting my video videos from the search menu because I've had friends look and they don't find my channel and sometimes they do but my videos don't pop up so I know they're using uh, you know those computer programs for certain people to quiet us up and I know how easy it would be I mean I can go out in one hour and hand out like 300 flyers door to door and have a real physical audience watching my channel and monitoring my safety because after all, this, this is about safety because I got into this trying to help my fellow American, fellow human in general, and the gang stalkers had violated me all my life, but I wasn't aware of it. So they start crying like a bunch of spoiled brats when finally the, the light is shined on these roaches 
after all the shit they did to me, you know, they're like, bat, 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 bat. I'm like, bat, 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 wow, ooh, ouch, ooh. And then when I just do one, boom, they're all, ah, bloody murder, bloody murder. They start screaming bloody murder. It's like they want to they wanna play the game, but they don't want to really play the game. They want to cheat. So there are certain topics that are off limits for life. And I can't use those as bargaining chips or try to make any money. Or Those are just off limits. God wants those sealed because uh, humans have turned their back on God. And the devil is allowed to do certain things. It's by the book. It's fair and square when, when people turn their back on God. And that's what the Holy Spirit revealed to me. It's not that God wants this stuff to happen to people, but people turn their back on Him. So I, it's not for me. I'm not Moses. I'm not supposed to go out there and part the Red Sea. However, I am a human being, and when someone tries to kill me, I take that kind of personal. So I do have a safety net that I'm going to be building and making it stronger. I prefer to get back to my own stuff. And I'm going to make this short. I'm going to end this now, but I, I want to that people out there, the few people that are probably getting through, I hope there's like three people that are at least, you no, know, three real people that are watching the channel, but I want to leave you with this really quick, how bizarre this really gets. I've been gang stalked all my life since I was three years old, and I'm going to tell more stories about other events when I was a kid and stuff, but this is how weird this stuff gets. I even wrote a story in 2005 that was stolen from me by James Wan writer of Saul, director of Saul, all those Saul episodes, he stole my story and made a motion picture out of my story. My story made about $100 million plus, and I never got credit, I never got paid for it, and this is the kind of shit they do. And James Wan's involved in the gang stalking, as crazy as that sounds, you think, why would a Hollywood director, because these are hybrids. That's why. I'll run my story down to you real quick and you can compare it and see if you think it's the same story. By the way, it's, the title of the movie is Dead Silence. This story has never been done before ever in history. 2005, I wrote a story right here in this studio apartment where I live now about the ghost of, and this is before I was a Christian, the ghost of an old woman. And Dead Silence is the ghost of an old woman. Well, in the story, how it goes is before she died, a little boy made fun of her, a little child, little boy, a little 10 year old kid, 8 year old kid, made fun of her, teased her and her baby. So the old lady kidnapped the little boy and put him in a secret room inside of her bedroom wall. Well my story was below her bedroom window, but same story. She kidnapped the boy and put him inside of a secret room. She lost her hand so she fed him a hand. In the movie. She lost her tongue, so she fed him a tongue. And then she comes back as a ghost, and in my story, she chokes you if you're scared. In the movie, she cuts out your tongue if you scream. And same, you know, she's trying to get you scared in mind, trying to get you to scream in the movie. There's a Henry in the flashback scene in both stories. There's a Henry in the future, warning the main character about the ghost. You have a 20-year-old Caucasian male with light brown hair, light brown eyes that's accused of murdering his mom and dad in the movie, it's his fiance, and is chased by a detective in the small town. Same story. Now mine, it's a river, in the movie it's a lake. He slightly altered tiny things, kept the basic of the story there, and just stole my story. So basically it's an old woman that kidnaps a little boy for making fun of her and her baby. She comes back as a ghost and chokes people when they're scared. And a guy named Henry warns the main character and the main character is a 20 year old white Caucasian male with light brown hair, light brown beady eyes that's chased and harassed by a detective in town for the murder of his parents that he did not commit. And in the movie it's his fiance, the baby's a puppet baby, but it's the same story. And I'll leave you with that. Get your heart right with Jesus Christ. It's the most important thing. I can't stress it enough. I mean, it's just so important to understand that God loves you more than you could ever understand. And he came here and died for your sins, for my sins, for your sins, for our sins. He was pure. He died without sin. So as being a pure sacrifice like that, 
because the wager of sin is death. And if he died not having any sin, then that makes his blood pure. And that blood covers you and me if we accept his gift. So it's so important to get your heart right with God. Don't wait until tomorrow. Do it now. Say, Heavenly Father, forgive me for my sins. I've transgressed against you. Um, show me uh, how to walk with you, Lord. Send me the Holy Spirit, the spirit of discernment. Um, and uh, I, I repent for my sins, and I'm going to go the opposite direction now. And we ask these things in your son's name, Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you all. Thanks for watching.